Good morning and welcome back to the channel. So I'm going to move you guys up just a little bit because you're down. You're facing down a little bit. Anyway, uh, good morning and welcome back. So I'm actually going to do something a little bit different today. Um, I know a lot of people have uh, expressed their I'm kind of done with Christmas crafts and stuff like that. And I've done a lot of Christmas crafts. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is there might be, um, yeah, no, I don't think so. I was going to say there might be another video out of the December daily, but I don't think there is. Um, so I think what I'm going to do with that is I'm going to finish it up and then I'm going to do like one last flip through. Maybe I don't know yet, but as of right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make some journals because I need to get more journals in the shop. Uh, cause I only have two left. Um, they've all sold out and so it would be nice to get some more in the shop. So that being said, I was playing around with a friend of mine and I made, um, I made one. And so I'm just going to go ahead and get the rest of them sewn together and you guys can see how I sew my journals together. I figured I would just turn the camera on and go ahead and finish up the rest of the journals. So these will most likely be romantic or Valentine's E uh, shabby type style. Um, I don't say the, the C word. Actually, I heard, and I could be completely wrong about this, but I heard that someone had a um, trademark on the words shabby chic. And I don't know if that's true, but that's what I heard, and I would be very interested as to find out if that's actually the case, because that would be a, that'd be kind of cool actually to fi to figure out who coined that phrase. Uh, I always thought that it was just a style, you know, and to me, the the stylization of shabby chic is romanticized. That's that's what I feel like shabby chic is. It's romantic it's sweet it's pretty it's elegant it's you know it it but there isn't there isn't a definitive yes that's shabby chic or no that's not shabby chic you know i feel like it's romanticized it's beautiful it's elegant it's pretty and but i also think that it's completely irrelevant because if you want to do something you don't need to put a title on your style you just do it and so i just kind of guess where the middle is with this and i just whoosh my not all uh because as I was talking to my friend earlier, uh, this is not an all. I actually don't own one. I know it's ironic, but I don't own an all. All right, so I am going to sew these in with, um, so I already cut these out because my intention was to do all this and uh, just kind of like streamline it. But I figured, you know, I got off the phone with her and I figured, you know, let's do some journals. We'll just turn the camera on. So, here I am. Oh, and she inspired me too, because she, uh, it's, it's Melissa from Misty Journals. Uh, you can like come through the hole any day now. I'm not sure what's going on. That was super weird. Why are you not? It was happening. Like it's like stuck or something right here. That was really bizarre. Super strange. I'm not sure that's ever really done that before. Anyway, um, so what was I saying? Oh yeah, so she's doing Vlogmas this year, right? And anyway, so she gets on and I'm watching her vlog and it's a get ready with me this morning type of thing, right? And so we're just sitting there hanging out with her, getting ready for, you know, her day. And she's putting on makeup 
I was, and she was talking about how she doesn't normally put makeup on and you know it's uh all right you're gonna work this time it's a, a rare thing for her to do makeup i was like you know i haven't worn makeup in a few days let's put some makeup on so i decided to put my face on too that's what my husband when he got home was like look i'm a girl <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, I'm pretty sure you've always been a girl. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, but now I look like one too. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just thought it was funny. <laughs> anyway, um, I like putting makeup on. I think it's fun. Um, I know some people don't like makeup. I know some people don't like the idea of makeup or whatever. I like makeup. I think it makes me feel good. Um, I like how I feel when I wear makeup. It's just an overall great thing. All right, so I'm going to double check the tightness on this on the inside, and it looks good. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and tie this in a knot. And then I'm going to put some glue down. And I'm going to just use some, oh, what's this doohickey called? Um, art glitter glue. I guess I could have just read it. And I'm going to put some glue down right there. Just make a little dot. And then I'm going to tie another knot. Alright. And then we're going to move to the next journal. I'm going to leave my strings because I don't know if I'm going to do a dangle or not. I might, I might not. I did a dangle on this one because I had already put the doily on this one. So this is actually one of my new doilies that I do have available in my shop. Um, it's, I don't remember the number. I don't remember the letter, uh, the inventory letter, but it's under doilies and you can go look for it. Um, but it's, it's a nice big one. As you can see, it will cover a really good size and it's very pretty and very elegant. I like it. So, and these little guys here, you can get, uh, let's see, there's four, six, there's six in a pack for a dollar at the Dollar Tree. So that's where you can find those. Um, hold that. Next, I love this one. This one is really pretty. And so each, each of these journals, these are smaller journals. Each one of these journals has 10 pages in it, uh, 10 pieces of paper rather, giving you a total of 40 pages. Because each piece of paper is gonna be multiplied by four because you have two sides and then each one of those sides has two sides, giving you 40 pages. But I sold another one of my journals today and I was like, ooh, I need to make more of those. I didn't realize I was down to two. For whatever reason, I thought I had way more than that in there. Which, I mean, it's a good thing because that means people are buying my journals up, which is yeah. And so you just kind of eyeball it. I don't measure this. It's not like a super precise science. It's whatever looks good, whatever feels good to you. I mean, the whole point is to have fun with it. So have fun with it. Hey, you don't go down there. And make your, make your twine listen to you. Uh, I'm using waxed thread here. It is a, uh, it's a kit you can get off of Amazon. That's where I get my needles and my thread for my, my doohickeys, my uh, journals. Again, I'm going to go in from the outside in. 
hopefully it's not going to be quite as ornery this time. No, it's going to miss completely. There we go. All right, that one wasn't so bad. And this is the this is the front cover. I love this. Isn't that pretty? And there's a lot of different things and elements you can do to journals to elaborate them and make them prettier and all kinds of good stuff like that. All right. Then we're just going to pull this tight. I'm going to go back in through the middle. And we're going to go back in through the middle. Possibly. There we go. All right. Pull that tight. Go back in the hole up there. Go up the outside. And this is just a very, very simple three hole stitch. Um, I'm not sure if it's the pamphlet stitch. I have no idea. I know there's three holes and it's super duper easy to do. That's what I know. So I'm going to tie this into a knot here. Oh, I should have checked my tension. Now it looks good. All right, so tight the knot there. Grab my glue. And then put a dot of glue on that knot that I just made. And find the hole of this super teeny tiny bottle of glue. All right. There we go. Now, hope that the glue doesn't dry and make another knot. Oop. And then that's it. And this is save the date. Thought that was very romantic. And like I said, each one of these has 10 different pages. So it's got six coffee dye pages. And then it's got one of the lighter coffee dye pages, one of the glassine pages, one of the linen paper pages, and one of the uh, notebook pages. And you can make these bigger or smaller. Ooh, I should do like little mini journals, like the um, uh, like handheld. That would be fun. Ah! Okay. My needle was stuck. I just stabbed my finger. Oh my gosh, I stabbed my thumb the other day. It hurt. Like, I don't know if you'll be able to see it. The little, I mean, you can barely see it. It's on my thumb, but it's there. Yeah, right there. Right there. Anyway, I am always stabbing my, my fingers or my hands. It's stabbing them, burning them, poking them, cutting them. Do y'all ever do that? Like, I, I swear, it's like every day I've got a new bottle wound from this office. A little crazy.
All right. Go in through the outside. Pick a top or bottom. It really doesn't matter. It's going to tie in the middle. Go back out through the inside. Bloop. Hold your excess tail. Pull it tight. Go back in through the middle. And then back out the only hole you haven't done yet. Okay. Then loop it. So there's two loops. There's one loop here. And you're going to make the next loop here by going underneath like that. Pull it tight. You typically want to check the tension before you tie it, not, not after. And I just add a little bit of extra glue right here on the knot just because I sell the journals and I don't, I really don't want them to fall apart. So I just add a little tiny bit of extra glue. I mean, most of the time I'm going to put lace over the top of this anyway, but just in case I don't, you know, it's there. This one I thought was super cute too. This one says, once in a while, right in the middle of an ordinary life, love gives you, gives us a fairy tale. I thought that was cute. See, romantic. And I don't know. I think that no matter what time of year it is, it's time to be romantic. Like, there is no season for romance and love. And it doesn't have to be, like, significant other romantic. I mean, we could be talking about love of, you know, your parents or your siblings or your friends. Like, it could be anything. I know a lot of people have love for their faith. That's a big one. Like Melissa, a great example for that. She's one of my very, very good friends, and she has a very deep love for her faith. So I think that is a great example. It doesn't have to be the significant other. I mean, it's great if you have one, but it's not always the only source of love. Know what I mean, Jelly Bean? You can find love everywhere. You can find love within yourself. You can find love for yourself. I have learned that over the course of the last several months. Learning to love yourself is such an amazing and wonderful thing. And I would suggest that everyone, everyone should love their self. Because it's awesome. Oh, and there's a cute little envelope here on the back. That was pretty. So, who's here surprised that we just sewn in Four journals in 20 minutes. And I say four because so I already had one done. That one doesn't count. But we sat here and sewed in four journals in 20 minutes. Pretty cool, huh?
Okay. There we go. And that's it. That's all she wrote. So I'm gonna I'm gonna stab my thread with this one so I don't lose my pen or my needle rather. Alright, I'm gonna go right there. And then this one is a beading needle that I used to do that first one that I showed you guys. So we did four journals. We sewed four journals in 20 minutes. Like, that's crazy. So there's the first one. And like I said, I'm going to leave the tails long um, until I figure out what I'm really going to do with them. Uh, but I might continue just to decorate these guys because uh, I love making journals and they're a lot of fun. So uh, this is the first one. The second one. third one and the fourth one and that cool and this is just a placemat it's just upside down because so I don't want to get anything on the other side of it because I've been using it to take pictures it's pretty anyway so I really hope you guys enjoyed this video it was a lot of fun I hope it was informative and I hope I helped you guys out in sewing your journals um, it doesn't have to be daunting it can be super quick and super easy just remember to keep it simple and straightforward and you guys can do anything. So thank you guys so much for watching and until next time, have a fun day and keep crafting. Bye guys.